Hey, Christy here from Loom Crafty Fiber Arts. Today, I want to show you how to loom knit my new new stitch called the Pearl Hug Stitch. The Pearl Hug Stitch is a two-row repeat. It has a beautiful texture and slight laciness to it. The loom I'm working this particular project on is the KB 3-8 gauge loom with a number 4 weight of yarn. You can go up to a half gauge using a four weight, seven sixteenths. It may change the laciness of it a little bit, but you'll still get the same design. I think this will make a pretty afghan, a pretty shawl, and that's what I'm working on here, or a large scarf. Um, anything that you want to work it in. I think it would actually be prettier in a lower weight yarn, too. And you'll understand when I get started on the... Um, stitch why I call it the pearl hug stitch. I'll explain that in a minute. So let's get started. Okay, I have cast on with a garter stitch, which is one row e-wraps, one row pearls, for eight stitches to show you how to do this stitch. We're going to slip the first peg and the last peg, which I think the pattern looks great that way and with the garter stitch cast on, but you're welcome to do any border that you want, any cast on, any bind off you want, it's up to you. Okay, so we're going to slip the first peg, pretend it's not there. We're going to wrap around the back side of the first two pegs. We're going to knit them off, both pegs. And we're going to do something a little different than what I normally do with this stitch. We're going to lay it between and purl like we usually do, that second peg. But then, we're going to take our working yarn and we're going to wrap around the back of that peg we just purled. Go in between them again and purl one more time. And we're going to do that all the way around for the first row. This is a flat panel stitch. And you need to use a loom divisible by two. Even number of pegs, of course, divisible by two. So let's do that again. We're coming from these two pegs we just worked. We're going back around these two pegs. Around the front. We're going to knit both pegs. Okay. Take our working yarn, lay in between the two pegs you just knit. Purl the second peg. Then we're on the outside of that second peg. We're going to wrap around the back side. Again, just like that. Going to cross it over on the back side and you'll end up with your your working yarn in between those two pegs you just knit off again we're going to purl a second time that's why I call it the purl hug stitch I've changed the name a couple of times but finally settled on that one okay one more time this is row one in between purl the second peg back around the back side of that second peg and purl it the second time. And then I'm going to wrap. Okay, that is row one. Row two is exactly the same, but you're doing it in the opposite direction. So let me show you what it looks like in opposite direction. We're going to slip that peg again because we, we did a U-wrap. And we're going to go around the back side of these two pegs wrap around the front knit both pegs and we're going to put our working yarn in between purl that second peg remember we're on the outside of that second peg so we need to wrap it around so we'll be on the inside again in between them again and then we'll purl that second peg okay so we're coming from this peg Wrap around the back of these two pegs, back around the front, knit, lay your working yarn in between, 
purl the second peg. Then we're going to wrap it back around from the outside, around the back, and purl it from the inside again. Okay, one more time. Wrap around the back side, knit both in between toward you, purl the second peg. You're on the outside of the second peg, going to wrap back around the back side and purl that second peg again, and then you wrap. And that's it. That's the two row repeat. This will make a really good prayer shawl pattern too. Um, or flat panel prayer shawl. But that is the two row repeat for the pearl hug stitch. If anybody has any questions, leave them in the comments below. And um, give me some likes, thumbs up, share the video. Greatly appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.